me 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 hey what's going on guys welcome back to episode 16 of black ops 3 mod tools now in this video i'm going to show you guys how to make viable blockers now just in case you don't know what a viable blocker is it's basically an item that's blocking you from getting into either a room or a certain area so uh let's go over to radiant i already have a map open click on that there you go all right now as you can see i have a doorway and I have a room on the other side. Now we're gonna put some blockers here that are gonna be viable. And let me show you guys how to do that. So uh, let's hit B on the keyboard to bring up the entity browser. Now we're gonna go over to script, not model, not misc and model. We're gonna go to script and model. And I'm gonna drop one down here. There you go. Now it should open up our models. If you don't see them open, uh, you might be under all in views. Now we don't have any models in views, so click on all and it'll show you all the models. Now you can put in any model you want, but you know, you at least want it to be big enough so it'll block the doorway. You can put more than one, but for me, I'm going to type in table. It'll show me all the tables and I'm going to look for a big table. Uh, it's coffee table. You know, it could be anything you want. I'm just going to pick out something. All right, cool. This looks big enough. So double click that. Hey, there you go. That's plenty big. All right, cool. So move it over a little. So it'll be in the middle. And let me go. Let me copy this. Copy it. Put it right on top. Let me go from a side view and I'm going to rotate it. You know, give it make give it a little bit more of an appeal. There you go. All right. So we have two tables basically blocking the way back it up there you go all right so let's select both of them because we're going to give them some kvps now hit n on the keyboard to bring up the entity info now we're going to go to target name and you can name this whatever you want me i'm going to call it blocker yeah simple click enter and there you go that's it so now we're going to drag out a brush or at least put in um go back to entity browser and we're going to go over to trigger and now we're going to go to trigger views and I'm going to drop that in. There you go. Make it a little bigger. All right. And put it in the front so it shows up. All right, cool. So now I have a trigger. Let's give this some KVPs. Press N on the keyboard. Go over to target name and we're going to call this zombie underscore debris. Press enter. There you go. Now we're going to. Oh, I deselected it. Now we're going to add some more KVPs to it. Now this one's going to be zombie underscore cost. And we're going to price this at 100 bucks. If you don't put this KVP in, automatically it's going to be set to 1,000. And I ain't got it like that. All right. So there we go. We got it at 100. And the next one. Actually, we're pretty much done with this right here. All right, cool. All right, so let's add a clip. That way, our player won't be able to just walk through it. So I'm going to drag out a brush. There you go. And I'm going to go to textures, press T. And make sure it's on all. And I'm going to type in clip. And as you can see, it's right over here. It says normal clip. It's just in red. There you go. Now, we do have to turn this clip into a... a a script brush model. So go back to entity browser, go over to script and brush model. And with the clip selected, just double click on it. There you go. Now, if we look at the clip, it says brush model. Let me uh, make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. There you go. Now the clip says brush model. So we did it correctly. Now let's give the clip some KVPs. So target name. We're going to call it the same thing as we call the the items that we put to block the door. So it's going to be blocker. That's the name I put. Press enter. Now I'm going to go to add KVP. You guys have to go to script. Noteworthy. And I'm going to call it clip. Press enter. There you go. Now we have to put an item over here. That way this furniture will fly up into the air. 
So we're going to put a script struct over here at the end of the wall. So uh, go to Entity Browser and go to Script and Struct. Pop one in right over here. Let's move it up. Now we can see it flying up to the top of the ceiling. Here we go. All right, so here we go. And let's make this clip a little bigger. There we go. All right, now I'm going to hide the clip because we're pretty much done with that. And right now, select the trigger, select one of the furnitures, press W. Now that one's linked. Now, actually both of them are linked because uh, we selected both of them and we gave them both the same KVPs. So that's cool right there. Yeah, that's cool. All right, and now we're going to select the furniture and select the struck and press W. And there we go. Actually, it's only linking one of them. So let's select the other one too. Select that one and select the struck. Actually, that one. Select the struct and press W. There you go. Now we have both of the furnitures going to it. Now let me make sure I have the trigger going to the top one also. Press W. Yeah, it's already doing it. All right, and that's pretty much it. So all you do is just pull out some uh, script brush models, put them in the doorway, give them a target name. You know, it could be whatever you want. And then make a trigger and give it the target name of Zombie Debris. You know, and then also make a clip, but it has to be a script brush model. So you would just make a clip, click on script brush model. It'll turn it into a brush model. You give it KVPs. You give it target name of what the name of the blockers are. In our case, it's blockers, exactly. And you give it script noteworthy clip. And, you know, link them to the struct. You know, just select the item first and then the second item and then press W. And that's pretty much it. All right, so let's save this. Let's compile and let's see how it came out. There we go. Launch is good to go. Let me just compile this and we can check it out in game. If there's any other videos you guys want to see, just let me know in the comments. All right, give it a few seconds. It's almost done. Come on, launcher. I got some mapping to do. Look at those zombie eyes. Those googly eyes. All right. All right, cool. It's done. All right, let's go to Steam. There we go. It's ready to load it up. Let me turn on my control. That's right, people. I use the control on the PC. And there we have it. All right, give it a second. It's loading up. Come on, baby. And here we go. And as you can see, there's our blocker. We can't walk through it because there's a clip. And let's buy it. See the price at 100 bucks. And there you go. That's how you put a buyable blocker. And if you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.